All right, Ryan Camp, I wanted to call you Coach Camp. And I said, you know, how old are you? And you said, 19. I was like, wait, this guy's 21, 22, youngest coach I've ever seen. But actually, you're an athlete, student athlete at Buena Vista. Yep, yep, I'll be a sophomore next season. And you go from the south all the to, way up to, to top Iowa. left yep okay tell me about that transition for you uh well there weren't a lot of wrestling schools in georgia and i knew that i really wanted to wrestle and so i got a call from Brees, and it just felt like the perfect fit and so and everything kind of like meshed together like the culture that i established with the high school and the culture that he's building up there with the new program uh, made it a really smooth and easy transition like there weren't really any any bumps in the road along the way like is the program that he has built right now is really really solid. Luan's the only other dude I know that's done that. I think there's a couple U and I guys. Luan Hodges, yep. that's the only other dudes I know that went from Georgia yep. to Iowa. Is it like something about those Georgia to Iowa kids? Is it culture shock? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, not too bad. I'd say the biggest thing is the sweet tea. There's <laughs> none there's none up there. <laughs> uh, you know you guys get into that that Iowa uh, D3, D2 league is, it's nails, man. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. It is unbelievable, the, the level of Division two, Division three wrestling in the state of Iowa. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know about that. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Like, the IA conference itself, I think we had, like, four of us were in the top 25 this season, so it's ridiculous. Every conference duel is crazy. Yeah, I couldn't believe it, because we had a, a compound, we had a C3 up there mm -hmm. in uh, Waverly, or Shell, Shell Rock, whichever I think it's actually a town, but Waverly, Iowa. Yeah. They had it up there, which is by you and I, and it was I was impressed with what I saw because that's where uh, Wartburg, Wartburg is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty impressive. But um, looking at you know, where's my man, Coach Breeze? I, I got to know that right now because I like Coach Breeze. This weekend's his wife's birthday, so he couldn't make it down, and he's getting ACL surgery next week too. Breeze still scrap? Yeah. <laughs> getting that knee fixed, huh? Yep. <laughs> That's pretty, uh, you know, like he's a PA guy, right? Yeah. So you look at, you know, he comes from the richest part of recruiting country. You know, you're a Georgia guy. Mm -hmm. Georgia's really developed. What do you think is different about how things are in Iowa, Pennsylvania, where Brees is from, and, you know, like to, to Georgia? How have you guys developed and, and become more competitive, do you think? Uh, I've seen it. I've seen like a switch flick over these like, past few years since when I have graduated here to like these kids now. And I think this, like, uh, camp or program what Yates is doing here has a lot to do with it bringing in these D1 uh, schools because when I was when I was graduating there weren't anyone really looking to Georgia to recruit and everyone's looking at Pennsylvania and Iowa because that's where that's where like the big names come out of but what we're doing here I think has a big impact on putting Georgia on the map for high school wrestling and getting kids out of Georgia into into big schools what's your major uh, physics. <laughs> Are you, I'm sorry to lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like not a normal major right yeah. here. I normally hear like communications yeah. or psychology. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, in looking at coaching, do you think, you know, you're here, you're going to send Breeze some names I'm, as my guess. Mm -hmm. um, probably not in an official capacity, but you know, when you talk to Coach Breeze, what do you guys look for and what is he looking for and what's Point of Vista looking for? Uh, obviously we're looking for athletes, but we're looking at the person also. Like one of his goals is to always have at least one uh, Scholar All-American each year. So we're looking for kids that do the right thing on the mat and they're also doing the right thing off the mat. Uh, they're going to classes every day. They're good students. They're good kids. Uh, just all around athletes and people. What's the one thing you want people to know about, you know, going from Georgia to Iowa? Uh, going away from home isn't as bad as everyone makes it seem. Like, you get homesick, but especially with the program that BVU has, uh, they make you feel like you're a part of a big family. So just because there's that huge distance doesn't really mean that it feels like you're that far away because it begins to feel like you're home. Got some guys about to scrap here. You got anything else for me? Uh, not really. Hey, thanks for the time. Thank you. Safe travels. Enjoy the heat down here in Georgia while you're home for the summer, yep, all right? Thanks. <laughs>